Hello again, here is IT Academy and thanks to HoldicStudios.com for providing us this great audio quality uh, equipment and hardware. And in this uh, particular lesson, we will continue our bootstrap uh, basics. Uh, so, for the reminding, and uh, the previous lesson we will create the uh, application simple uh, layout based on the grid of Bootstrap, uh, which uh, looks like this. For a large screen, we get two columns, red and green, and divided uh, by three to nine uh, virtual columns. And for the medium size, it was six to six, which means 50 50 division. And today we going to be continuing continuing this uh, playing with uh, bootstrap grid system and i will show you the uh, predefined uh, css classes that could be used to change the way how the page looks or uh, different devices so now we learn how to hide or show particular elements of the page depending on the size of the um, screen okay so <clears throat> We know how to define the width of the column for a particular uh, screen size, but uh, let's assume that uh, this is um, this this is very long text, and we don't want to show it on small and x small screens. Let's assume that this paragraph should be hidden in in um, XS and SM uh, screens. Uh, we can achieve it in two ways. There is a predefined class that we call the hidden XS and hidden uh, SM, and the rest sizes will be shown. So. If I say this and go to check the result, what will happen? Now we are on a large screen. Now we are closing to medium screen and this text is still visible. But if I clo going closer, now I am on a SM page, the text is hidden because I have a directive hidden on XS and hidden on SM. Of course, I ch I can choose only hidden on XS, which means hide this text only on the very uh, small devices. Now it is the SM, and this text is visible on MD also will be visible, and on the large also. But if I close the page to really small a size, which is XS, this is extra small size. Now you can see the text is hidden. And this is the first um, way how to hide a particular element on the um, particular size. So the another way is the opposite logic. <clears throat> this is the example when hide the element, on which devices hide the element. But we could use the opposite things, which means show only if the size is particular. And for doing this, we are using the visible and minus uh, this and minus size. For example, visible LG. It means show this text only on the large screens. Save and check the results. On the XS, it is not visible. On small, it is also not visible. On medium, still not visible. And only on the large screens, this text will show. And this is the basic idea. You can hide elements on particular devices sizes or show only on particular device sizes. Of course, you can always use it uh, in exchange, but everything depends on your needs. 
if you want to hide a element only in one particular size, it is better to use hidden XS, for example. But if you want to show the element only on one uh, particular size, it is better to use visible and give the size. Uh, of course, um, this is complementary instructions because visible LG, this is the same which is hidden XS, hidden SM and hidden MD. Of course, this is uh, simplified and, and it's quite better. So, for example, for this uh, green column, we can do class uh, hidden XS. And what does it mean? In the main column, uh, sorry, again. So what what does it mean? Um, this is visible LG, so show this text only on large screens. Any closers, any uh, cl um, any smallest sizes will be hidden, but the red text paragraph should be hidden only on the XS, which is extra small sizes. This is still small, and now we enter the XS. Uh, this class could be really uh, funny, and you can use it for, <coughs> cha it for changing, for showing, for checking what size is now of the, of the window. Of course, the browsers have this responsive uh, views, which a plugin or built-in feature. But if you want to check it um, by your own, you can uh, have a div. Of course, this class could be applied to any element of the HTML. It could be div, a paragraph, span, anything you want. Mm, so div class visible. SM, this is XS. Sorry, X, I want to. XS, this is XS. And close the div. This will be an example uh, for some kind of debugging purposes. How the sizes is, is, is changing. If you are a mm, rookie, you may have some problems with. Uh, discovering which size you are uh, working with. Uh, so this simple four classes and four texts will give you the answer for anything. So let's check how it is. This is XS extending. This is SM extending. This is MD and extending. This is LG. So now you simply see what size do you handle with uh, in a particular moment of your <coughs> of your site and you can play with the different things so thanks for watching for this lesson this is all if you have any problem just give a comment i will answer you personally thanks for watching again